Hey, welcome back. We're cooking with Chef Puck. We bring you the good stuff. All right, today, what we're going to be cooking today, we're going to be cooking, we're going to do a pizza pie, okay? Uh, I have a brand new Blackstone 2023 or 2024 pizza oven. Beautiful thing. All right, but we'll get to that uh, very shortly. But what I want to do here, I want to I want to make like a, 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 a garlic, you know, that to go around the crust of the pizza. All right, uh, give it a garlic taste. So what I'm using, I'm using about two tablespoons of butter, which I'm going to melt. I'm using a couple of pinches of salt. You can use uh, a regular garlic, uh, fresh garlic, or you can use the, the stuff you buy in the store, the minced garlic. But I'm going to be using the paste, the garlic paste, and a little bit of olive oil. All right. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I, I forgot, I failed to mention that this is unsalted butter. All right. Because I'm going to be adding a little salt to it. So without further ado, let me get some couple of squeezes of garlic paste in there all right I'm gonna use what I got which I don't have much here but I'm gonna have another one there and I think that's all I have all right give this a little mix here all right and remember this is just for the the outer crust you know to give it a nice flavor Right, and a couple of pinches of salt. Give it a nice good mix. And give it a little taste. Oh yeah. And now I'm gonna add a, just a dash of olive oil. Not much. All right, a little taste. Needs a little bit more garlic here. There we go. Just a little bit more. All right. You taste as you go along. You adjust as you go along. Need a little bit more salt. So far I put four pinches in of salt. And I'm gonna reheat this up here. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more olive oil. Like I said, not much. All right, well, so what I'm going to do with this now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this in the microwave for a few seconds. So I'll be right back. All right, I got a nice and hot. Now, just continue to give it a little bit more mix. Get everything together. Be very careful at this point because she's nice and hot. I'm still going to need some salt. That's six pinches of salt that I used. Got to balance it out. Perfect. Right there. All right, so let me set this to the side. All right. Now what we're going to go do now, we're going to go outside and uh, we're going to uncover the, the new Blackstone pizza oven. And uh, let's get us started. Let's get it uh, preheated, all right? So stay with me. I'm taking you outdoors. All right, welcome to my cooking station outdoors. And this is my brand new baby right here. The Blackstone Pizza Oven. All right, so let's get it all uncovered here. All right. And there she is. Voila, excuse me, almost broke my neck here. All right, got to remove the door. Remove the door. All right, I don't know if the gas is on, so we're going to find out. Gas is on. 
fire it up. There we go. All right, there's also a turntable in here that we're gonna have to clean out here. And also the turntable actually rotates by pushing this button. The, um, the turntable it works on batteries or you can plug it in. It has two options. All right, but this is a beautiful piece right here, beautiful. All right, so without further ado, let's get this preheated up to about 600 degrees and I'll be right back. All right, the pizza oven's preheating to about 600 degrees and my, for my toppings, I'm gonna be using these mini, these wild mini, these mini peppers. All right, what I do, it's not many seeds in them, as you can see. All right, so I'm not even gonna bother removing the seeds because it ain't much. But I'm gonna kind of julienne these here. You got all different colors here. Gonna be nice on top of the pizza. Yep, see, there's not many seeds in these. That's why I like using them. So I don't have to remove all the seeds like a bell pepper. So I'm gonna finish up these here, these couple of uh, mini peppers. And y'all guys, y'all stay with me because this is gonna be some good eats. So I'll stay tuned. And for my second topping, I'm gonna be using uh, these mushrooms. And these are sliced mushrooms, all right? So I'm gonna be using these sliced mushrooms, a couple of these on one side of the pizza. All right, so let me get me a couple out because I do like some mushrooms. All right, that should be enough for one side of the pizza. All right, so we got our toppings. We got the julienne uh, peppers and we have the mushrooms. You know, these mushrooms are kind of big, so I'm gonna cut them in half. Just cut them in half. There you buy them, you can buy them already uh, pre-sliced already, thin. That works for me. Easy the way is to, uh, to use these mushrooms. And they should cook up real nice under the intense heat. All right, so we have all this said and done. Now all we have to do now it's like I said, wait till the uh, temperature gets up to reaches 600 degrees in the pizza oven and be ready to make our pizza. So y'all guys stay with me, be right back. Okay, what I did, I just put a little bit of flour down on my peel. All right, get a little flour down. Now I'm gonna take my dough. All right, cause she's very... Just get it down there on the, on the peel right here. Get this out of the way. Let me turn it on the other side. I'm just trying to get it to be un, you know, not too sticky. All right, let me flip it over. Let's give it a little dusting. This is what I want. Right. All right. Don't want a lot of flour. All right. She's looking good. So let's give it a little shimmy here. Looking for that shimmy. All right. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get rid of this excess flour because I don't need it. I don't want it. Turn it upside down. She's looking good because this flour will, will burn 
and it won't taste good. If anybody have a better idea, let me know. So, now that I have the, the dough the way I want it to be, I'm gonna take a little bit of semolina flour. Not, excuse me, this is not flour. <laughs> now, I don't know how true this is. It's, what I heard it was grinded up pasta, real fine. All right. All right, so, what I'm gonna start doing, start pushing out from the side, from the middle, keep going from the middle, and making my dough, my pizza. Do a little flip, just working it. Now this, this pizza dough, I didn't make it. This pizza dough actually came from Restaurant Depot. All right, I bought a case of pizza dough, and it's a lot. Now I'm gonna pick it up and let gra whoop, and let gravity do its thing. Just put it on my knuckles, just keep going. She will stretch, try not to rip it. All right. All right at this point, I can use a roller at this point. And which I will, I have a small little roller. So let me get my small little roller here. Just gotta find my small little roller. And obviously I can't find my small little roller. So I'll just use a regular roller. properly I do want a somewhat round pizza and I try to make it from one edge to the other edge I don't have to ever make a to um, buy pizza from a pizza restaurant again. So what I'm gonna do here, put a little bit more semolina flour down. A little more down there. All right, she ain't perfect. A little bit more over here. See, I'm trying to be, I'm being anal about this because I want to try to get a, a perfect round circle. Which I'm almost there. This works for me. Get my edges. All right, that works for me. All right. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get me a little bit of pizza sauce down. Just a little bit. I'm just using regular uh, Walmart brand pizza sauce. All right. Don't need a whole lot. All right, I need a ladle. All right. I don't probably need more than that. Definitely don't need a little bit more than that. That should be enough right there. Go right up to the edge. Oh yeah. All right. So since we got that done, now it's time for the, the cheese. I mean, you can be liberal, you can be very a little bit, going with a, a decent amount of regular cheese. Low moisture mozzarella cheese. All 
right. Hmm. Yeah, a little for me. Now, I'm going to take my peppers. My peppers all around. Now we got the peppers. Now we're gonna get the mushrooms. Now we're gonna make a line here. Because my daughter, she doesn't eat mushrooms. So, we're gonna make a line. So she won't be bothered by the mushrooms. And then, all right, so I think that's about enough there. Well, you know what? Let me just get it all in there. What the hell? All right, now for the garlic around the edges. Uh oh, I get a little spill here. This is all I'm doing around the edges. I'm gonna have to clean it up a little bit. All right. So let me wash up and clean up and y'all guys, I'll be right back. All right, I lost my microphone. I don't know what happened to it. So I'm gonna have to hold it here, but she's looking really beautiful here. Yeah. It's looking real nice. Like I said, I started at 635. All right, so we're gonna see how long it takes to cook this baby. All right, so y'all guys, y'all stay tuned and stay with me, be right back. All right, I'm gonna pull it right now. This pizza's done. Beautiful. She is beautiful. Mm. We're gonna look at the bottom to see if we get any leopard pattern here see what the bottom looks like Oops. oh yeah we got some good pizza going on here ladies and gentlemen all right so let me get my pizza pan and shut it up and get it cut and uh we'll be right back all right it took about five to six minutes to cook this pizza all right let me get this stuff out of the way here I'm sorry for the video, but I did lose my microphone, but it's somewhere out here on the deck. But I'll find it later. All right, so let's cut it. I love how fluffy she got. All right. <clears throat> Taste is in the pudding. Oh yeah. Mmm. 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 It's really good. Mm. I'm gonna have to call my daughter down on this one. Now, the sweet spot on the Blackstone pizza oven is 600, a little bit over 600. What I mean by a little bit, 630, 650, that is it to cook a pizza. Anything else you wanna do searing or frying, you go higher than that. All right, but um, this cooked uh, excellent pizza. As you can see, the leopard pattern on the bottom. Very nice, very nice. 
うんうんバイ Making these pizzas, that's my goal to make the perfect pizza. This is really good. All right. So, if you like this video, give me thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, and guaranteed I will bring y'all guys more and more contents of easy cooking. All right. Now, without further ado. I'm going to enjoy this and you guys have a wonderful day and happy 4th of July. I love you.